Welcome to the Go Secure Cybersecurity Perceptions versus Reality Report. This report is based on survey results from 120 cybersecurity professionals across North America. We asked these professionals to rate the importance of specific security measures and then compared their response to which measures were actually implemented in their organization. We then compare the responses against findings from our penetration testing team to uncover some very interesting inconsistencies. In this video, we will cover the survey findings and pen testing realities for multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is an authentication method in which a computer user is granted access only after successfully presenting two or more pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism. For many years, computer access has been granted using a single authentication method, passwords. Still widely in use, passwords can be one part of MFA, generally described as what you know. Unfortunately, as we'll describe in a later video, what you know can be easily guessed by cybercriminals, making it, by itself, an ineffective authentication method. As the name implies, multi-factor authentication requires more than one piece of evidence, and increasingly, the second piece of evidence falls under the what you have category. Mobile authenticators are growing in popularity as the use of one-time passwords is proving effective for successful MFA implementations. The survey asked respondents, how important is multi-factor authentication to your organization? On a scale of one to five, five being very important, 93% of respondents answered important or very important. With passwords having been long demonstrated to be fairly easy to hack, it's no surprise that organizations recognize the value of MFA. When asked whether their organization had implemented MFA, the results paint a slightly different picture. Only 45% responded with a full yes, while the remaining 55% were either partially or no. Considering that zero respondents answered that MFA is unimportant, it's surprising that 13% have not implemented MFA. Based on the survey results, organizations in general see the value of MFA, yet implementation is lagging behind perceived importance. GoSecure pen test team's findings corroborate that MFA implementation is lagging. Lack of MFA is identified as a missing control in 36% of pen test engagements. While MFA is becoming more common when authenticating email access, other equally important assets are still relying on passwords as the sole means of authentication. Especially notable is the lack of MFA on internal assets. An entire network without MFA greatly increases the potential of lateral movement. With MFA on internal systems, lateral movement can be dramatically reduced. The Go Secure pen test team has some recommendations for MFA quick wins. First, protect all assets, both internal and external, with MFA. In the absence of protecting all assets, perform a thorough analysis of where sensitive data resides and confirm MFA is enabled for all access to this data. Go Secure pen testers have seen examples where a second password is used for MFA. Using two pieces of what you know evidence is only slightly better than a single password. For additional security, software tokens or one-time passwords via an authenticator are strong options as they require the second piece of evidence to be what you have. If using software tokens or an authenticator app is not right for your organization, another option is to implement SMS-based authentication, a one-time generated message sent to your mobile device. There are multiple options available, so it's important to implement solutions that are compatible with the majority of your line of business applications. Multi-factor authentication is becoming very common, and the end-user community is growing accustomed to using authenticator apps or one-time passwords. While the survey confirms that security teams understand the value of MFA, there is still work to be done making perception a reality.